Hello to everyone. How are you? Well, welcome to the Java settings video for April 2020. Um, I must say that I don't know what's going on um, with Instagram, but recently um, they are much less strict with the uh, Jarvi with automation. Uh, I even made a few new tests. Um, yes, yeah, so I want to show you today my settings and how you can make it work. Okay. And before that, I want to show you a few of the results that you can achieve with Jarvi because I know many people don't believe anymore Jarvi is working. So have a look. Yes, yeah, so here you can see some of the results that we can achieve with Jarvi. Oh, I'm so big over here. <laughs> I'll take it a bit down. Yes, yeah, so uh, put me over here. Yes, so you can see, like, for example, you can get, you can do this amount of actions of follow and follow and this amount of contact and you can get 300, 600, even 1000 new followers per one month. Okay, it's really, really cool. Even you can see this kind of results more than 300 per month and um, this one as well so with this one and this one yes so believe it can work okay if it wouldn't work i wouldn't tell you it's working you can see the dates the number of the followers gain in the daily base and the actions yes Cool. So um, let's start with the follow settings. Just a few words about me. For all of you who don't know me, you can see also my special shirt. This is Jarvi. It's Instagram. <laughs> uh, so my name is Adi. I'm a Jarvi expert. I'm from Israel. I'm uh, the co-founder of Jarvi support community on Facebook. Um, I'm trying to help as many people as I can with my agency and with my tutorials to you, how to grow your account. I'm also posting uh, sometimes in MP social probably know also this cool place. Yes, so uh, let's start with the settings. So what you need to do? Um, over here, I have two demo account on Jarvi. I'm going to focus on these two today and show you how you can set up everything, okay? So when you go to Jarvi, uh, the first thing you need to do before set setting up everything is to go to the settings, social platforms, sorry, uh, yeah, so social platforms, Instagram, and over here, I recommend you to uncheck this kind of option to be checked in your server. So I don't check the servers, these options. I do it automatically, hey, manually, sorry, I will show you. And I also check this option to solve capture automatically. And only if you have set up this, so you, you, you don't need to do it. So it will be a bit complicated, but just make sure you don't, didn't uncheck that. And I also uncheck this option, okay, because I don't want to do automatic API login on my account. I do treat action blocks as temporary blocks. I keep accounts valid when changing the proxy and I suspend all the tools when getting any block for this period of time, okay? That means that if I will get a follow block and the unfollow is working, so no, it wouldn't work anymore, okay? Over here, you can see the female male names. This is in Hebrew. Um, I have, you can add any language that you want. If you want English, it will be the default. But if you're, for example, from France, you need to add your list, your uh, names list. If you want a uh, French names or Spanish names or German names, a uh, comment below in this video, and I will add it as well, a file with the names, okay? And what else, what else, what else I want to show you? If you don't need to do it as well, so basically the global settings, it's like I show you all of these four here. And that's it. And also I don't clear cookies when logging out. This is another thing I like to do because it can cause to some issues. Okay, so let's start. Um, I go to social Plus profile, okay? And I will add a profile, okay? So let's say I want to add a new client. So I will click on that, I will add a profile, okay? And over here, I will add his details. You can give it a name like client name X. Okay, you can give it a tag. You can put it under any tag that you want, Instagram or anything. You can, you need to put your username over here, password over here, okay? And, and now let's make some kind of I am tutorial with my account. 
one second in one of my last video <laughs> someone took the details so i will be a bit careful okay if you have advanced profile settings you also need to check that and um, you can enable night mode if you want the account won't work between x to z between for example 8 a.m so 8 to 10 a.m so you can actually make it over here and of course you can use specific time zone if you, it will be default with your vps or computer time zone but if it's for client from i don't know um a, a italy and you're from the united states so you must change the time zone for each time zone okay if you want that java doesn't work in this period of time i like to do that only when my clients doing some actions like i do follow likes or unfollow or these things so I tell them to do it on specific times, okay? I tell them not to do at all, but if it's very important to them, so I give them the option to do this kind of night mode, okay? You can also set up it with the dates, and um, What else, what else to do over here? Okay, so over here, I keep accounts valid when changing the proxy, you don't want to log out. I don't trust the IDS when changing the proxy, okay? And I use only the embed browser on my accounts, and I don't use the API at all, okay? Because I want to look very, very, very um, humanly, and I don't want to play with the API because it can be a bit more uh, scary for the accounts. <laughs> like I mean, dangerous for the accounts, uh, the API of Instagram. So don't play with that. I use only the embed browser for my client's account, okay? And over here, what I also uh, like to do, I like to, um, and do the verification with the embed browser, you know, the API to verify. Okay. And this is no problem with the, with that. And I uncheck the optimized API calls, no need to do that. And I do sign right before midnight. So it means I will see the results every midnight. Um, and the account will start to work. Like if I, let's say now it's like 3.40 PM and I tell the account to do 200 actions today, so it will do it until midnight and not until tomorrow, 3.40 p.m. So it's also a good option. And this is all the settings I'm using for this account. So now let's go to a, the account a settings itself. So after you edit, you can go to tools. And I will show you my demo account. I made a demo account for me to have the same settings. And then I just copy that from your account. And I don't need to do it every time from scratch. Cool. So what I like to do, my settings that I'm using um, at the moment, I like to use 20 to 40 minutes before each new operation. In each new operation, I will do one to nine uh, follow actions with a delay of 40 to 150 seconds before between each follow. Now, uh, play with the numbers. You don't need to copy this exactly. You can do it, for example, like 15 to 35, for example. It will still be good. Just make it a period of like 15, 20 minutes at least. Okay. Follow one to nine. It's a big gap, so it's good. You know, it will be one time, it will be five. Another time, it will be six. Another time, it will be four. So it won't be the same numbers each operation. And the delay, I like to put it at least with 60 minutes. Um, seconds of delay between each follow so it won't be so fast cool now with the time i like to set up it for the daytime and a bit of the night because now with the corona virus so i think people are much more active on the night like i don't know if they are more active than the daytime but they are also active at the night time so what i like to do i like to set up from the morning for example 8 43 a.m until midnight, 12.42 a.m., okay? You can even go a bit higher with one or two. Sorry. One, for example, or two, up to you. Uh, it depends also on your clients. Some clients prefer to do only in the daytime, so up to you. I also do randomize intervals daily by a margin of 22 minutes. Put it maximum on 30 minutes, okay? So, um, it will it won't start and finish at the same time every day for example i will click on that it's a bit of another time you see tomorrow click on that another time click on that click on that <laughs> okay then click on that i just show you that it won't start and finish at the same time it will be with the 
difference of maximum 22 minutes before each start and finish daytime. Cool, I also like to add random sleep time, 10 to 30 minutes, it will go to sleep, it won't work, after 5 to 15 operation. Okay, so it will looks really, 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 really human, it won't work like a bot, okay? Over here you can say increase actions per operation on a daily basis by 1 until it reaches to 19 people per operation maximum. And have a look, if it will be 19, I will actually can get like almost 15 follow per hour to 30 follow per day. And this is great. I can tell you that the maximum follow actions you can do in these days are a bit more than 200, 300. I test it at the moment and I have some accounts that I reach more than 300 actions per day. But I don't recommend to do that at the moment for your new account. You can test it out. At the moment, I will keep it with maximum of these settings and around 230. And for the start, I will start with 1 to 10 people per operation because I don't want it to be so fast. Okay, I will also follow limits. I start with 15 to 20 actions per day. I increase it daily by 10 to 30 until I reach 200 to 30. I will follow 3 to 5 people per 1 hour and I will increase it on a daily basis with 1 to 2 actions until it will reach 20 follow per hour okay and this is the settings i'm using for the photo okay sorry um, and, 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 one second i will close the skype so you won't see that cool let's continue so with this part what i like to do i enable contextual actions uh, that means that i will do some follow actions to one of the following followers or suggested users uh, from specific person that i'm going to follow okay so it will be i set it up to one to four with delay to two to eight seconds before uh, between each actions okay for example, if I will follow some, I will show you down now an example about it on live, so it will be a bit more clear for you. So let's go to Instagram. And let's say, okay, let's say I will follow some Puppies account. I have this account of Puppies Wish. Uh, let's go with this one. So I will follow this. Okay, and then I will follow one of its followers, one of these people, or one of his following, one of these people, or one of the suggested users, these people. Okay, this is what it will do. Now it looks very human, this is the advantage, and it's also your target audience because it's people that are relevant to this account. So uh, I recommend to check this kind of option. Okay, you can play with the settings, some people even do it more than these numbers. Up to you. I like to keep the things very, very uh, safe for the start. Cool. Another thing you can do, you can enable automatic follow and follow. It means like when you reach to this so specific number of followings, for example, 1,000 to 1,500 followings, the follow tool will turn off and the unfollow tool will start to work. Um, up to you if you want to do it. I just like to do it uh, together. Okay. Filters, I don't put here anything at all. I will explain why, because all of the filters and the settings I use with my scraper account. And um, I do suspend when temporarily block with this period of time. It means if I will get a block, it will stop the tool for three to 10 minutes, and then it will try to do again the action. Now, if it will work, so everything will be good. But if it won't work, so it will stop again the tool for this period of time, and then you can do this option to do it automatically re-login, or you can do it manually. I prefer the manual way uh, because sometimes Java has some issues with that or sometimes it's do more than one login. So I like to be more safely and do uh, manually re-login. Okay, I will show you my blocks guide. I have a blocks guide uh, how to deal with that on another video. So you will have the link below. Cool. Another thing I like to do, I view the stories after the follow between 60 to 80%. You can play with that, any percent that you want to do. So feel free. To do that and then you will follow people and then you also um, watch their stories cool this is the follow settings extremely simple right now i just go to the follow sources and over here 
I will check this option for specific users. Don't you worry, I will explain to you what is the way to add yields from specific users. But meanwhile, just add it. Cool. Now let's talk about the unfollow settings. The unfollow are very, very simple. As you can see, I unfollow people after one to two days after uh, we follow them with Jarvi. I wait between 10 to 30 people. Uh, MMM. I do one to 10 unfollow per operation with delay of 30 to 120 seconds. I put it on the daytime, more, not the nighttime so much. Okay. And I wait between five to 28 minutes after executing five to 15 operation. And that means that the maximum unfold I can do per day with these settings will be almost 12 per hour, almost 200 per day. Cool. I start with 20 per 20 to 30 unfold per day, increases by 20 to 40 by day until I reach 203, 128. This is the maximum. Cool. Now we can also enable contextual actions as well with the unfollow. So it will unfollow uh, randomly some uh, people from your list after, uh, like it looks a bit more human. You can play with it and see how it goes. How it looks on the embed browser. You can open the embed browser and then you will see how it looks. Um, you can do it for the unfollow as well. I actually like it more for the follow tool. With the unfollow, I don't have so many issues, but feel free to check it and to see how it goes. Up to you. Now over here, we can unfollow all users followed by Jarvi. Okay. Or uncheck this option if you want to unfollow only the people that didn't follow you back. Okay. Or to target also users from outside Jarvi. This is the two options you can do. Up to you, what you prefer. Some clients tell me, Adi, don't touch in my following, so no problem. Some clients really don't care, so I check both of these options. Cool. Uh, suspend options. I also check this kind, like we did it with in Jarvi. Yeah, so with the follow tool, so as well with this kind of delay. And I skip when no more results, so I will go to do another operation, other actions. Cool. So that was the follow and the unfollow settings. We have way more things than likes and content and reposts and many more options. But in this video, I'm talking only about the follow and unfollow settings. So let's do now the scraper account. Now, after I did that, I must set up a scraper account. Now, what is a scraper account? Scraper account is account you really don't care about. Okay. It's account like fake account that you have, account from 2012 that you didn't, you are not using anymore. This kind of accounts. Okay. And the job of this account, it's only to a uh, find the right users you want to follow likes or do any actions on them. Okay. So, uh, in my case, for example, um, I don't like to, um, open Gmail accounts and then create a scraper accounts. Okay. It can take a lot of time when you have a lot of accounts to manage. If you want, you can just open a Gmail account. You can open a new one and then to open a new Instagram account and use this account as a scraper. Okay. Make sure you do it with incognito. Okay. Not with your own IP. You can do that. Another way you can do, and this is what I like to do. I like to purchase some scraper accounts. I purchased from this website, Shopee. I will give you also the link below. You can uh, purchase some Android accounts. This is the, I think the best because Java is also a Android activity. So you can just purchase that. It's 190 per account. You have minimum to purchase for five accounts. Okay, and they give you the email and they give you the password and the username. So feel free to purchase or to create your own. Or if you have another source, you can purchase even cheaper than that. So go for it. I just know this company and they give, they give good uh, accounts. So I use that. There was TikTok, Pinterest account, Reddit. Feel free to check it out. Cool. <laughs> wow, this is a long video, right? I feel like I'm a bit... I don't know if I speak too fast or if it's not enough uh, clear, but I'm I'm trying my best. Uh, cool. So let's continue. After you have the scraper account, you can set it up as well. You add it from the social profile, um, add profile, okay, and then you go to the scraper. Now you go to the advanced settings of the scraper, and I check all of these three options. It means that I will delay the tools after the account is verified. I won't start to scrape immediately after I verify it. 
Okay, you can put it 10 to 2 to 20 as the default, that's cool. I also delay all the API awards when I give a specific value, I keep it with a default over here. That's when it's also when I have a lot of errors. So I will delay the tool and it will stop scraping. And I will also delay all tools when the API calls exist a given value. If it's reached to these numbers, it will uh, be on a delay. Okay, you can see delay, it's like it will be here on orange and it will write delayed. Cool. Those options I do, I check all of these four options. I don't use the ID, I don't change the proxy, I use embed browser, I don't use the my browser, sorry, to log in or to follow. I use only the API with the scraping because the only way to scrape with Jarvi is only with the API. Cool. Another things I do, I use only API to set bandwidth, I optimize the API calls to do more actions. And that's it, guys. This is what I like to do over here. Now let's go to the tools. I go to the follow. Now this is my scraping follow. You can feel free to copy that. I, if I wait 10 to 20 minutes before each new operation. I follow 30 to 60 people per operation with a delay of 15 to 20 seconds before each follow. It's working 24 seven and I don't have any limit to see this is zero, 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 zero because I wanted to scrape all day long. Now you see it's supposed to follow them, right? But it's not really follow because I check this option. I send the users to extract users. So that mean um, I don't really follow them. I only search the users, find them and send them to my main account. Cool. Now over here, um, I, I add the filters that I want. So for example, the filters that I like to use, I make sure the user has a profile image. I make sure he has minimum 50 posts. Okay. I make sure he doesn't have any invalid words. I have a bad word list. Let me know if you want this list. I will also add it on the description. It's like many cursed. <laughs> you can also find it online if you want to see this list. So I will show you, sorry, global tools and I do word list. And this is all the words, really bad words. So sorry if you are kids, I talk about these words, but some people actually use these words on their bio or even post. So this is what I like not to contain that. You can also check this box to contain any specific words. Like for example, if you want only people who are related to Instagram, so I can write Instagram, marketing, um, growth hacking, any words that will appear on their bio or the username and all of that, you can check that. I use it for clients for the B2B mostly that looking only for designers, only for real estate agents and all of these kind of things. If not, uncheck that. And you can make sure also the follow ratio is greater than or smaller than like the followers following ratio. I don't play with it so much. Um, I make sure there is a post within the last 14 days. If not, maybe it's not so active or maybe it's active more in posts, in stories, but I want to make sure he's posting and he cares about the post. User has posted at least once on his story. Yes. And if you want, you can also check, uncheck, sorry, you can check to not follow accounts with a website, business and phone number. If you want only private accounts, I like to do it like that. Um, MMM, you can also make sure you have the minimum number of likes and males, females, both or all. Not many people ask me, D, what is the difference between the boat to the all? <laughs> is it not the same? So you're right, it's actually sound the same, but both males, males and females, it means both of them. And all, it's also some people who even didn't set up what their gender. Some more business accounts, I think, really don't care about it. So. I just stick it on all language. I can put it on Hebrew after I add the names on the settings. Okay, I will remind you. For all of you who forget, social platforms, Instagram, if you want some specific names, so you need to edit French names, you need to add the French names. German names, you need to add it over here. If you don't add this kind of names, so Java cannot know, it's in German. Okay, it's a tool, so you must add this kind of names. Cool, after you do that, you will check this kind of option, automatically send script results to other accounts. I send it to follow sources. If you want, you can also send it to the comment sources, to like sources, to story resources, up to you. I only will follow. The maximum I put it on 10K, 97, 10K. Yeah, 
this is the maximum. And over here, I will add the account that I want to send the sources from here. So let's say uh, this is the account, select none. And let's say I want the puppies, I will add the puppies. Okay, it's going to be delayed. I will add this kind of account and I will add its maximum one million script results in history. Okay, this is the maximum we can put. That's it. Now, after you do this, you can just go to the photo sources. And over here, you check the sources that you want to use. Okay, so I like to follow photos of target accounts. It's me, your competition, your colleagues, an account that's really similar to your own account. Okay, don't go with celebrities, Justin Bieber, Beyonce, Madonna, I don't know, all these kind of people, because people follow celebrities because they are celebrities, right? <laughs> so if you're a celebrity, just try to find accounts that's similar to you. For example, I have this account, the puppies. Sorry. So I will try to find accounts that's similar to the content that I have over here. Okay, similar content, a similar style. Okay, I will try to do that. You can use hashtags to do that, to find it. A, you can write puppies or keywords from your nation, you will find a, the right results. Okay, I also like to um, follow users that interact with posts on targets accounts. So all of the accounts I put over here, I also add them over here. And I follow the users who comment and like on their post in the last 2K, 160 minutes. It's mean on the last two weeks. Okay, minutes. Like, I don't know if you know that, but you can check it. Uh, <laughs> it's really funny. Have a look. Let's talk about math really fast. So 2K, 160 minutes. Uh, if I calculate it like to 14 days. 143 and if I will uh, make it like on Monday, we have one day 24 hours, so 60. <laughs> you see, so this is what I try to do. Feel free to do it like if you, if you want one month or if you want one week, you can also put 1040, sorry, 1040, up to, no, sorry, 10, 10K, sorry, 10K, and you can also put it, it will be the last week, but I like to do it like that. And if you are looking for a local business, you can also use the option of geolocation and as well add some users on specific geolocation. You can edit the URL or the names, up to you. And the last thing, users by hashtags, you can also uh, follow people who interact with specific hashtags, uh, follow followers of them as well, 2K160 on the last two weeks. Uh, on interpreted hashtags, that's what we like. And you can put here the hashtags. Um that's it, guys. This is was the follow and the unfollow settings. Um, so this is the options like I show you what I'm doing. Okay. After you do that, you don't need to do it all of the time again and again for your account. You can just click on that. You can click on um copy set global copy settings and you can copy that. Sorry. Uh, sorry, do that. So I can copy this kind of things and copy the settings to for all of the tools to other accounts. Okay, just make sure you uncheck the tool sources, all the settings, and then I can check this account and I can check all of the actions, all of the tools, and copy that for more accounts. So you do it once, you don't need to do it again, as well for your scrapers. Okay, you do it once, you don't need to do it again, you can just copy that to more, you know, scrapers that you're doing. And and mm, what else I want to tell you? And that's it. Um, use this information. Try this on your account. Test it out. And please be careful. I like I said, I cannot take any responsibility for your accounts. Or if it won't work for you well, it took me a lot of time <laughs> to get uh, all of this data, and I made all, a lot of tests in the past two years to make it work. And remember, like Instagram is all the time changing, you know, like they can make a new update tomorrow and maybe all of the things that I just saw you now are not relevant anymore. Okay. So you must take this kind of things, use it in your own business or your own account on your own way and with your own responsibility. I don't have any call to action <laughs> in this video. Um, I hope I succeed to help you. If I do, my only request for you is just comment below and write me how I, I, how I help you if you have any question. So comment below, 
let me know. I promise to answer any question that you have. And that's it, guys. Have a lot of good luck and stay safe. Goodbye.